Oh boys, I think we got a big one on here. I had to turn on the, oh, he's pulling hard. I think this, oh, this is a, this is a de decent one, boys. Look, Fred, he just sits down. He's like, oh, dad, come on. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. The first time you've seen me yo and open a video, not looking at the camera. Uh, we're at the river and I'm trying not to fall in. Getting ready to sit some bank lines right here. Whole girls with us. Uh, we got Fred. Fred, sit down. Stop wandering around, man. Good boy. And this is what we got going on, boys and girls. Got some rocks. Got a big down cottonwood. It's got a lot of hole underneath it. A ton of hole. Uh, the river's been rising for the last couple weeks. And uh, this is what we got going on today. Some PVC bank line in action. Uh, we got live bait. I'll show you guys here in a minute. But it is time. The rain's over for, I don't know, the, the next seven days. So it's time to try it out. What do you think our luck's going to be honest? It's going to be like a 30 pounder out of this one. I bet you. I guarantee it. And I said earlier, I think we're going to get one here before we're even done setting lines. I hope so. But like I said, we got old Frederick with us. He's, uh, I know, I've been saying it. He's going to the trainer probably today or tomorrow. I know, I know. But that's what we got going on today. Gerald and I went and caught, caught our bait. Want to put that guy on there? Nice little bluegill, perch. Bluegill or perch, what do you call them? I'm not 100% sure what these ones are, other than they're my favorite bait to use for fly fishing. <laughs> right. This is the name of the game, man. I haven't done this forever. I've been telling Gerald I want to get out here. Uh, you guys remember these videos from a long, long time ago. Haven't done them in a few years. First one out. Yep, go ahead. Sling her out there. Yeah. Oh, good grief. That is right under, oh goodness. Oh, yeah. That's that's deadly, to be honest. It's happening. We're gonna get, uh, we got seven poles total. I think we're gonna sit two at this spot like I showed you. This big down tree. Let's check it out again. And I'll take this with me. And we'll go sit this pole. I'll get rigged up. Right on. How much line do you need? Uh, probably eight foot ish so this bank lining the way to do it set your pole judge your distance how long you want it to be put your hook on then cut your line to fit the situation that's where you can get your live bait right where you want it to be and you don't have to worry about having too much line out getting tangled up i'm just worrying about falling in right now to be quite honest this is where i want to be okay that's where thinking right there now a lot of you that's been around for a lot of years subscribed y'all remember these videos you guys have been requesting me to do this again for so long so i'm pumped to get them rolling uh good summertime videos awesome catch clean cooks uh big flathead that's what we're after sometimes uh, we might catch a turtle sometimes we might catch a smaller channel cat but big old flatheads out of the Arkansas River, this is the name of the game. So if you're new to this deal, take a, I don't know, five, six foot piece of PVC, conduit, whatever you want to call it, drill a hole all the way through it so you can attach your line. And then the other end of it, cut it and shank it off so it goes into the dirt real easy. Nobody else fishes this whole bank probably, what, a mile, a mile west and a mile east? At least, yeah, at least a mile east. Yeah, mile. yeah, about two mile worth, chucker. Oh God. Oh yeah, that's, that'll work. work. The night bite, uh, from my experience, it's where it's at. But a spot like this, you never know. You could, it could happen quick. Fred, Fred get back. And just like that, called <laughs> you called it, dude. Oh, <laughs> that was fast. Little flatty. Little flatty. Dude, literally five minutes. If that. If that. Because I, I told you right away, I was like, what dude, it's getting hit. beauty. Yes! Dude, this is gonna be good. <laughs> well, that didn't take long, boys and girls. We've seen the pole. The old pole started shaking. Old limb shaker. Did he swallow it pretty good? Ooh, I might be able to save him. Well, he's an eater, I do know that. Yeah. Definite eater. That was fast. That tree, I knew it was gonna be golden the minute I seen it. And Fred, you can't go eating the fish, man. It's gonna be a good one. I gotta go back up to the truck and get the stringer. We didn't even bring it yet. 
There we go. We got our first one on a stringer, ready to go. Uh, I gotta tell you, if y'all are liking the uh, river fishing, y'all have to let me know. If you want us to do some pole fishing, well, we'll bring the poles out. I'll have to uh, reline them with some stiffer line because I can only guarantee you, you get caught up underneath that bad boy with a big one on. Now that one there, you can mustard it out. You could, yeah. You need some line though. Need some good line. Let me know if you guys like the video. Smash that thumbs up button. Let me know. Come on now. Yeah, these rocks look good, but I have a feeling this is going to be pretty shallow here. Oh, we're trying to find the next spot. There you go. Checking depths on these holes. You want something deep, that's for sure. You're almost above your boots. Easy, son. Around the back side of it looks interesting. Ooh, getting sporty on us, huh? Well, we're checking holes here. Man, these just are not deep. We're on a back cut here off the main body of the of the road. Oh, you went over. Your foot's smoked. It's pretty shallow in here. We need some more water. Uh, here we go. We found our next spot. We're going to set a pole. Let's get us out a good old chunker. We need a decent sized one here. Ooh, here. here we go. Yeah, buddy. I don't know, but it is freaking beautiful out. There you go. Well, we're just hooking them right in the back, letting them uh, live and they can swim around a little bit. Give her a good old toss there, old Billy. Ooh, that's a good hole right there. These ones now, I'm honestly not sure if we're gonna have as good as luck here. As you can tell, we're on a much shallower backwater cut. Over here is the main river. It flows a lot harder and you just don't know what you're gonna get hopefully uh my idea has always been flatheads they hug the edge to travel so that's where you set them heavy weight today we're using four ounce weights uh putting them about two two and a half foot up the line hooking them in the back so they live and swim so that way that weight's on the bottom and then it lets that fish just dangle up and do its thing well we're ready to roll bait this one up this is number five like i said we got seven total oh we're done Oh, 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 easy. Hell oh. <laughs> Did he? He's a sandy girl now. He's a sandy girl. <laughs> what? Well, we're down here. Um, we just went and had some lunch. Looks like I'm gonna get a little wet. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. Looks like something, oh, I see. wow, something ripped our pole out of the bank. It's only a couple hours later. We went in town, got us some lunch. The pole is sticking out of the water right there. It was in the rock. That means something big was on it, or is still on it. Oh, it's still on for sure. Oh, good deal. Yeah, pull him out of there, Gerald. Oh, here he's way over the boots. Oh, I can hear him. It's got to be a decent sized one. Fred just wants a drink. But this is where we had that pole. We had it stuffed down in the rocks and it was way down in the soil as well. Fish yanked it out, I'll be darned. Oh, look at this, that is a better one. Look at that beauty. Just yanked him out. Second one of the day, old yellow green turd. Heck yeah. Dang, dude. Look, Gerald went in. He said, looks like I'm getting wet, Bob. He took one for the team. Get back for it. Look, he's interested in these flathead. Let me have that, I'll take care of the pole. Hold him up. Oh my goodness, look at that beauty. Yeah, pretty. 12, four, 12 pounder? I'm gonna say 10 pounds. 10 pounder? Not bad, look at him. Whew. Paying off already. Two good fish. Yeah, and we've only checked one of the... One of the seven. See. Yeah, these are dead. Well, you never know. You never know. We'll get to checking yeah, we'll here. Check them out. Well, we're checking lines here, making sure we're baited. Even if, oh, that one's wrapped around some stuff. Yeah, we got a lamb. We caught us a lamb is what we did. Oh, look at this. Going up. No way, another one. Oh! Dece oh! <laughs> Barely on. He was decent. He was about the other, he was just like the other two, wasn't he? He was about the same size as that last one. Oh, what a sucker. Do this. 
This log's money. This log, this, yeah, this down tree is no joke. I'll be darn. No? No way. Probably a log or something. It's stuck. Yep, limb. Cut a limb bass. Oh, limb bass, no bait. Got, uh, you got some water issues in your boots there. There you go, buddy. Oh, okay. well, you're good to go now. Cool. Let's go eat. <laughs> <sighs> oh, well, it's like another two hours later. It's the evening. What is it, seven o'clock now? Yeah. Look at this little guy. How, How cool, he looks. cool is this little baby flathead? Extra cool. Like, literally a yearling. I'm gonna keep him. How old do you think that little fish I have is? No idea. It could be six months, who knows? It could be a year old. That is a really cool looking little flathead. Itty bitty. Thanks, homie. That was a big hook. That was a big hook for him to get caught on. That perch is as big as his mouth. Yeah. No joke. Well, we're checking lines. It's the evening. We went and caught some more bait. Uh, as you can tell, the river. Check it out. It is gorgeous. I'm telling you. Our Kansas River, Kansas. If you've never duck hunted it, fished it, it's a beautiful river. Well, it is the next day. And check it out. I went and got smart, went to Wally World, picked me up some new river shoes. Game changers. Just me and Fred today. Uh, we're here to check the lines for the first time today. They sat overnight. So I'm excited to see what we got. Very possible that we have a big one on, boys. Well, here we are. We're walking in. Almost there. I have a feeling we're going to have something good on here, boys. We have to. Have to, have to. First glance. Oh, one of our pull. Oh, gosh. We got bad news, boys. We're missing some pulls. Looks like they got drug in the water. Whoa, and the, and the river has came way up. Holy cow. Oh, goodness. It's really... We're <laughs> really cold. This is a lot of new rainwater that came up overnight. And we got a snag going on here. Oh man, that is some cold water. I, I knew I should have worn my waders. It got real cold overnight. Like, bad cold. Oh, we got a fish on, boys. It's tangled up in a big old log. Whew. I don't, can't tell how big he is. Come, come here, come here. Oh, he's a little guy. He's a good eating size, real good eating size. Oh, there's the, he's up the line. He's off the hook already. Come here, buddy. Oh, I see what happened. We got caught up in that line. He drug the, he dragged this line and caught that one. I'm pretty sure he's got two lines on him. Oh, there, well, there he is. That's a nice little flatty. Might be another fish on that other line. Let me get him on the stringer real quick what do you think fred look at that we got another one that's number three. Oh. Woo, it's going good well here's our next pole got tangled up too but we got a fish on it as well holy smokes boys we're wrecking them now they're small oh man that's a channel cat there that ain't a flathead let's try to get him loose here man this is this is the thing about this tree is just always getting tangled up continuously. That's a big old channel cat. I'll be darn. I'll be darn. Look at that. Try to get him off without losing him here. Oh, he's probably gonna kick on me. Look at that. Nice looking channel cat right there. Beautiful. That's a hefty dude. Beautiful looking channel cat. Nice size, perfect eating size. We're gonna throw him on the stringer as well. Boy, howdy, we're gonna have uh, enough fish for an entire fish fry for 10, 20 people here just today. My goodness. If you guys are liking the video yet again, smash that thumbs up button. Let a brother know if you guys want me to keep doing these bank lining videos for y'all. Because if you like them, we'll keep doing them. Look at that, Fred. Check, check that out, Freddy Rico. Look. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> You're a good boy. Boy, howdy. It's crazy how much it came up yesterday. Yesterday, I was able to cross that in my boots. 
today no way but good thing uh i got the shoes on check this out this is the bad thing about the river there's a ton of old glass everywhere like ancient always wear some type of foot protection if you're heading out to the arkansas river i'll tell you what oh boys i think we got a big one on here i had to turn on the oh he's pulling hard i think this oh this is a this is a de decent one boys look fred he just sits down he's like oh dad come on here we go there he is right here oh yeah good looking good looking yellow guy oh don't come off don't come off don't come off I'm gonna try to lift him right out come on buddy there we go yeah that's a good one Woo -hoo -hoo! yeah that's a beauty that's about the same size as our other big one i think this one might be just a hair bigger he's a good size flathead though check him out good size that's awesome i'm gonna try to get him unhooked here i think he swallowed it pretty good yeah he did well heading to check the last one that's on this beach here look at that guy what a good looking dude man i miss doing this i'm so glad we got out here and uh decided to give it a go so much fun guys when your river's coming up at its highest point get out there go sit some of these pvc bank lines it is easy money i'm telling you that river came up and old freddy uh he's not liking it that high he has to keep swimming if he has to follow me you know What's wrong, dude? You didn't like it? Was it a little much for you? Just a little different, huh? It's okay, buddy. But, um, that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. I mean, what a video it was. The first bank lining flooded river video of the season. I've been telling myself I gotta get out here and do it. I asked y'all, y'all wanted to see it. Here we are. Big shout out to Gerald for helping me get out here and get it done yesterday. Now we just gotta manage all of our lines. I know, y'all wanna see a catch, clean, cook. Everybody's ate catfish, right? Y'all know what it tastes like. On the next video, which I'm gonna fire up the next video this evening when I bring my kids out. On the next video, we are going to do a massive cook for a lot of people out at the campsite. So it'll be fun. Uh, we're gonna go late camping. And so if you guys wanna see some camping, some cooking for a lot of people, a big old party, stay tuned for the next river fishing video slash camping video. This is our stringer though, first day, insane. Not a bad stringer at all. One, two, three, four flat head and one nice channel cat gonna be a lot of food and i mean a lot of food but thank y'all for being here if your river's doing this right here get out there give it a go it's springtime once that hot summer sets in and this river goes down i won't be able to do this anymore so you guys need to get out there as well if you like this video smash the thumbs up button for me please it lets me know y'all want to see more of them but the river's still coming up we got more rain on the way i'm gonna stay fishing if you guys want to see some fishing with poles too down here, maybe we can catch some big old flathead on rod and reel. Let me know down in the comment section below. But if you haven't, smash that little notification bell down there because it'll notify you when I upload. We're uploading four to five videos every single week, y'all. So there's something new all the time. But until next time, peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real